Fusion Copter has been uh, building the Nano for three and a half years. They started out originally with a 36 horsepower engine. Um, after a, a few sales, it was determined that it was a little bit underpowered and they worked to uh, have two more engine options. Currently, there's a 38 horsepower Pliny 303 uh, engine and the Hearth F23 uh, with uh, that's 50 horsepower. Um, it's made out of basically all carbon carbon fiber or carbon Kevlar uh, materials to keep the weight down. Uh, it has a hydraulic pre-rotator, which is used uh, circling the ground to get the rotor blade spinning. You can reach, with a hydraulic pre-rotator, you get speeds up to 175 to 200 RPMs. Uh, and that's the only time that the rotor blades are tied to the engine. And that's, again, on the ground. You disconnect the pre-rotator, you start rolling in power, and within 10 seconds or less, you're gonna be off the ground flying. The rotor, the rotor blades, um, you see here, it's kind of covered, but it's just under 23 feet. They're extruded aluminum. Um, everything you see here is comes with a kit except for the USB charger port, which is just a, a little add-on of $50. Um, inside, which you can't see from this angle, it has all the in, uh, flight instrumentation. It has all your RPMs uh, for the engine, RPMs for the rotor, uh, all your temperatures, has your fuel readout, your altimeter, Everything you need for flying, it has uh, limited GPS ability. It's not a moving map like most people are, are used with with their phones or their cars, but it has a little arrow that when you take off, that arrow is always pointing to the field that you took off from. It does give you the ability to uh, program GPS waypoints. So say you're going from one airport to another, like say 50 miles away, you can plug in the GPS waypoint and select it. And then that arrow will always be pointing to pointing you to where you, where you need to go. It's fully built in Poland uh, by Fusion Copter. They do all the test flights and dial everything in. Uh, currently for shipping, they break it down into the smallest possible unit they can. So what they do is they take off the landing gear, the two tail sections back there, and that's a total of nine bolts. Uh, the props and the rotor blades are obviously all, uh, off to keep it small. So when you get it, it comes in a big, big wooden crate, and to assemble it, you need to put 19 bolts back together. Uh, you don't have to mess with the engine, you don't have to drill anything, you don't have to solder anything, just straight 19 bolts and attach two brake cables, and you're, you're ready to go flying. So um, probably takes maybe two hours with uh, one buddy to, to, to do all assembly. You can get training in any two-seat gyro that you can find, um, and all that stuff translates to the Nano. The only difference is typically from one gyro to another is the pre-rotating system is a little bit different, and then just the stick pressures to you know to control yourself in flight. The the Nano is very light on the stick, so you don't have to you know arm wrestle the, the machine around. You put the stick to the left, it goes left. You put it to the right, it goes right. If you're a fixed wing pilot, um, and you, you know all the rules and regulations of flying. Typically, transitioning to a gyro, if you've never flown it before, could average 10 to 15 hours. Obviously, everybody learns at a different pace. Some might pick it up quicker, might, uh, some might take a little bit longer, but uh, around 10, 10 to 15 hours of uh, instruction in a two-seat gyro, you should be confident and safe you know, in flying the Nano. Um, talk with uh, gyro trainers, uh, helicopter pilots, they they transition to a gyro plane much quicker, only in like one to three hours, uh, and they're good to go. I, I became a dealer for Fusion Copter approximately two and a half years ago. My, my goal is to try to get gyro planes more accepted in the United States because I think they have a bad rap. Um, and having the Nano with the price point that it has, I think it was gonna allow more people to get to experience you know, what, what a gyro plane and how much fun it can be. Another year or two, I'll have 50 to 75 of these flying around the, the, the country where it'd be a lot easier for people to go and see and touch one in person. Um, with the Ultralight Part 103 category, you don't need a, a medical license to, to fly. So I, I kind of expected older pilots that um, were having issues passing their medical exam to stay uh, current in their, their fixed wing airplane. Uh, the, the Nano would be an attractive, uh, op, you know, attractive option to get in the sky and have some fun. It's probably the average age of who I sold to is probably 65. So um, a lot of people that are in aviation have more than one flying machine. So this, you know, again, this price point being on the lower scale in the aviation world uh, allows people to have another toy, you know, at their disposal. With Ultralight Part 103, you are able to do, to, to do all your maintenance. Since all the, uh, the engine choices are two-stroke engines, 
you can do all the maintenance yourself. You might not be a mechanic, but there's a, an awful lot of videos out on YouTube showing how to you know, replace a cylinder. Two-stroke engines are very straightforward. You don't have to have a, a, an A&P, like in the fixed wing world, uh, that charge an awful lot of money and do all the sign-off stuff. It's all stuff that you can do yourself. A lot of these components are like, you can see the wheels, they're uh, bicycle tires, they're using mechanical disc brakes that you can get from a local bike shop. Um, so a lot of the wear and tear parts, like belts and stuff like that, um, they, Fusion Copter provides that to me, so I have those on hand. So Fusion Copter is in the process of working on a, an entirely different model um, called the JK3 Wan. This is a, 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 in the pusher configuration, meaning the engine's behind you. Uh, the JK3 is an attractor configuration, meaning it, the engine's gonna be up front, kind of like a normal fixed wing airplane. And it's a, kind of looks like a tail dragger. So it has the two wheels up front uh, and the one wheel on back, but no wing. So it still uh, meets the uh, part 103 ultralight uh, rules. And um, they're, they're expecting within six months to decide if they're gonna uh, make it a full production model. Uh, the original plan was to um, make it a true kit build. So when you get it, you have to put everything together. So the build time would, I would guess around 200 hours if I had to guess, um, but they're still working all that out. It's gonna be a uh, fabric covered uh, aircraft and hopefully it has a foldable rotor mass. So it would make trailering it around, you know, a lot easier. The Nano is located in the Ann Arbor Airport, ARB, and I do a lot of flying around there. And I also have a cabin down on the Kentucky, Tennessee uh, border. It's a hangar home. So when I'm gonna be down at the cabin fishing, um, I'll drive down there and uh, take the Nano. Um, like I said earlier, you get a, probably around hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes of uh, flight time. And it just, you, Pulling it in a trailer, I can stop anywhere I want. Airport, if I see a big field, I'll talk to the owner and can fly out of there. So again, flying gyros are a, a load of fun. Um, just keep in mind that this is not like a cross country traveler. This is something that you're gonna get up in the air and have your fun and you know come back and land. So you're not gonna go from one state to the next and, and any ultralight, not just the Nano. Uh, Fusion Copter has been an awesome company. It, any issues are quick to react. Um, they've flown over here several times to, to help fix issues and all that kind of stuff, all at their expense, so they really stand behind their product.